Hello folks, Dale Piper here, and a warm welcome on International Pipe Smoking Day. Wow, February the 20th. International Pipe Smoking Day. First of all, let me light up a pipe. The pipe I'm lighting is a Polinski pipe from Poland. The lighter is a Dupont copy, Dupont of Paris. This one was made in China. Lovely tobacco. I wonder where that's from. One of the most popular aromatic tobaccos in America. The one and only Lane IQ. Sorry, I know you call it Lane 1Q. It's my little uh, jipe to call it IQ because I say you've got to have intelligence to smoke it. It's a great smoke. My tamper? Bamboo from China. As recommended by an American, the Artful Codger, Ben. Great tampers, by the way. They cost um, two bucks and they're fantastic. Three quid, free postage from America, uh, from um, the Far East. The lady in the background singing is an Australian, Dame Nellie Melba. She hasn't been around for a bit though. She died in 1928, uh, I think, or 1927. This is her, from her last concert in 1926. She was one of the most celebrated opera singers um, of the Victorian era, immensely popular. She was, she had celebrity cult status in her day. Fabulous singer. And I'm talking that much, my pipe's gone out. Let me tell you a little bit about um, these um, mortar pipes from Poland. I discovered them on eBay. And uh, they're from, they're made by a man called Tadeusz Polinski. And I like them so much. I like my first one so much, I bought a second one. But the first one's full of tobacco, so it's easier to show you the second one because they're more or less identical. This one's slightly shorter than the other one. Lovely, thick bowls. Mortar, of course, again. Nine millimeter filter. These colors on them are um, silver, solid silver, stamped on the bottom. I don't know whether you can make out the stamp there. They have a signature on them. Polinski. I don't think you can see that. There's a little P on the side, like almost um, a note for standing for the Polinski. And they're great smokes. This one with the um, cream acrylic stem absolutely smoked from the moment I filled it and lit it. It smoked perfectly. They're great pipes, but this is mortar for you. They Mortar and meerschaum smoke without any breaking in. And um, basically 
They don't take a flavour from the tobacco the same way that a briar does, um, and similar to a meerschaum. They literally, um, you can smoke a variety of different blends in them without uh, getting any ghosting. And um, they're just great smokes. Mr. Plinsky is a great, great character to deal with. He sends you a postcard from his hometown with, of course, the pipe in the foreground. Wrapped in with your packaging. And his card. You might want to pause this to get his details. Highly recommended. And the most amazing thing is, when you get into or start looking for mortar pipes, you'll find that um, a lot are quite expensive. Um, for example, I think Rattray's cheapest mortar pipe is around about 120 pounds sterling. So they're quite an investment. This one that I was gifted is a Daverin, which I was given by Krunislav um, Kurlich. And this, these are really expensive. I believe this is a Daverin and um, it's a mighty pipe. This is a nine millimeter as well. But um, you can't buy these for less than about 250 pounds. I had one made by our own Calvin Carter. So this is uh, an English mortar. And this is a great pipe too. Um, Calvin, uh, Norfolk smoking pipes. Again, all the details of these people I'm gonna put in the video, uh, and in, the back, in the bucket underneath the video. But uh, this one, he made as a commission for me. I sent him pictures and drawings of the shape that I wanted. And this is a great smoking pipe as well. But value for money. These little mortars from Poland are fantastic. Because if I tell you, including postage, they are less than 40 pounds sterling. They're just fantastic value because believe me, they are really beautifully made. Sturdy little fellas and they smoke wonderfully. I wouldn't hesitate to recommend this guy. Um, they're just fantastic value. So, sure. We have a pipe from Poland, a tobacco from America, a phony Paris Chinese lighter, a Chinese bamboo tamper, a famous Australian opera singer. I think it is truly International Pipe Smoking Day. And I wish I raise a, a, a pipe to everybody who's enjoying a pipe today across the world. Happy smokes, folks, from Dale Piper. <laughs>